What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the BTR Garage. Today's video is gonna be a follow-up to the oil pickup saga video that we posted a week or so ago around the RTV silicone getting stuck in the oil pickup. We're gonna be answering some questions in this video that came from you all on both my YouTube channel video as well as Instagram and some conversations I've had outside of those platforms. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, do remember before we get into the questions themselves and my answers, these are my own opinions, my own thoughts on the matter, what I've seen with my own car and just the things that I've read and heard from other friends and people out in the world of the internet. So do keep that in mind. Digest the information that you're gonna hear with your own best judgment. And again, like I've mentioned in the previous video, if you have any real concerns about your own car, do contact your dealership before doing any DIY to the car itself if you're truly concerned about having this particular issue in your own car. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to the questions. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have my list of questions here that I compiled, again, from replies to the YouTube video as well as conversations on Instagram, etc. I tried to pick out the common questions, the ones that people asked many times or multiple times, basically the same question, but in different variations. So. We'll go ahead and get into it. These are in no particular order. So first question, don't you think the issue of the oil pickup and the RTV silicone in the oil pickup is being blown way out of proportion? Uh, yes, I do think it has kind of been blown out of proportion, but with that said, I think for good reason, uh, if we look back at why this whole issue became known to the internet public uh, was due to a warranty denial on an actual blown engine for a fellow GR86 owner. So if you remember what had happened, the, the driver blew their engine, uh, apparently in an autocross event or something similar, took it to Toyota. They denied the warranty claim, said you were racing the car that's not covered. And so the fire was lit and the internet did their thing. And rightfully so, I think right there, obviously based on how Toyota and Subaru both market the vehicle as you know being a race bred vehicle to live on the track and do all those types of things. It's kind of contradictory to you know, deny warranty claims based on the way they market their cars. But there's obviously fine print in the warranty coverage. But that aside, the issue got blown out of proportion. And I, and I said rightfully so, because ultimately the GR86 owner got their warranty claim honored by Toyota corporate. So that whole situation did what it was supposed to do. And the owner, I think, got the, the rightful treatment in the end. So that was the good news. The downside of this blowing out of proportion was that now everybody was worried that their engines were gonna blow up based on this RTV silicone in the oil pickup issue. And it prompted you know a number of people, myself included, to say, oh crap, I wonder if my car has this problem and I'm gonna go take it apart and see what's going on. And, you know, I found out that I had RTV in my oil pickup. Other shops and other, you know, YouTube channels and things like that have since opened up their oil pans and checked their pickups and same thing. I've heard of, you know, multiple people through Instagram and just on the internet that they're finding, you know, silicone in their oil pickups as well. But what that has caused is a, in my opinion, a big situation that is maybe not as big of an issue as it's been blown up to be. So that's kind of my thoughts on how the issue got blown out of proportion. And I'll kind of talk a little bit more with some of the other questions about how the whole RTV silicone in the oil pickup being blown out of proportion is kind of having a negative effect in other areas. So uh, next question, will my engine blow up if I have RTV in the oil pickup? So my thoughts on this, it, you know, it's unknown, right? We're still very much in anecdotal evidence stages of this. Like I said, it's just stories on the internet, you know, of people like myself um, that have found RTV in the pickups. Even the guy that had the blown engine while they did have RTV in the oil pickup, I don't think it was confirmed without a doubt or, you know, proven beyond certainty that that was the single absolute cause of the engine failure. It probably contributed, uh, I definitely think so, but there's a, I think a number of factors that contributed to that. So from blowing up your engine standpoint, I think a lot of things have to happen in order for a catastrophic failure. So, you know, the daily driver that's driving their car to work every day, doing the, the average car meets or car cruise and maybe a, an occasional weekend canyon run, their risk of blowing an engine due to this particular issue 
my opinion is slim to none, you know, highly unlikely. Now, for those of us that track our cars a lot, that autocross our cars a lot, that drift the cars a lot, the risk obviously inherently goes up. Uh, no matter what car you're driving, your, your risk of engine damage and other types of mechanical issues go up with high performance driving. So they might be at a little bit more risk and RTV in the oil pickup may contribute to a failure, but I really think you gotta have a lot of different factors contribute to that. High RPM driving, high slip angle driving, extended periods of lateral load where the oil is being sloshed away from the oil pickup. Combine that with the RTV silicone potentially in the oil pickup, then you're building kind of a recipe for a potential failure, right? So next question, um, the next couple questions are kind of similar in answers, but the first one is, should I cancel my GR86 or BRZ order over this? My answer to that is absolutely not. I wouldn't personally cancel my order if I didn't have my car already. And you know, I was expecting my car to arrive next week or next month and this issue is going on. I, I would not cancel my order at all. The cars are already hard to find. Uh, however, I do understand that everybody has their own level of risk tolerance and you know, these types of things affect people in different ways. I mean, it's a lot of money buying a brand new car. Similar to that, do I need to stop tracking, autocrossing, drifting my car until this issue is fixed? So same kind of thing, I, I wouldn't, I'm not. I've already got you know this car registered for a couple of track days already. Our autocross season is starting up. I don't intend on not driving it, even though I have cleaned out my oil pickup. Even if I hadn't done that, I would still you know race and drive the car aggressively like I, like I always have. And, um, that wouldn't change for me. Um, next question, why doesn't Toyota slash Subaru just use a gasket instead of RTV? Uh, I, I have no idea, right? I, I am not involved in the engineering or design process of these engines. Lots of engine manufacturers use gaskets for these types of things. And keep in mind, the RTV on the FA24, it's not just used in the oil pan, it's also used in the timing cover uh, and some other areas up in the engine. So. The RTV, if, you know, even if you had a gasket on the oil pan, there's still a potential that you're getting RTV bits or RTV chunks from those other areas where they have used RTV in the car. So I don't know why they don't use gaskets. I can speculate and say maybe it's a cost thing or a manufacturing thing. You know, without gaskets, they don't have to have the tools and the machinery to stamp or uh, create the gaskets or make the gaskets, um, that kind of thing. So I don't know. Um, you know, some companies use gaskets, some use RTV. Uh, next question is the, and these are also next two questions, again, kind of related, but they were asked multiple times. Is the oil pan the only place RTV can come from to get stuck in the oil pickups? So I just answered this basically in the previous question. The answer is no. Uh, there is silicone used in other parts of the engine, the timing cover being the big one. It's right above where the oil pan is and you know there's more moving parts up in that area of the engine there's you know a chance that when the timing chain is spinning the force from fluids or you know whatever is going on inside the engine is chipping away at some of the silicone and it's dropping into the pan uh, there's also been some pictures of other oil pickup tubes out there where they have different colors of rtv stuck in that oil pickup so clearly it's not coming from just the oil pan itself uh, there are other areas within the engine that are potentially dropping scraps of RTV into the pan, ultimately into the pickup. So that related question, next one on the list, how do you know the issue is resolved after cleaning the oil pickup and resealing the oil pan? The answer to that one is I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know that it's actually resolved. Um, based on what I just said, knowing that the RTV can come from other spots within the engine potentially, fixing up the pan or maybe cleaning up the RTV bead on the pan using less sealant, um, you reduce the risk of now RTV coming from that particular component or those mating surfaces. But um, it, the issue is definitely not resolved. Even my car where I've cleaned it up, um, there's still very much a chance that I'll have RTV in my oil, oil pickup when I go to do this check again. And I'm actually gonna do this process again, taking off the oil pan, checking out the oil pickup at my next oil change. So in another three or 4,000 miles, I'll have you know several more track days, probably a lot of more autocross on the car. So we'll be able to see you know from oil change to oil change, just how much RTV are we ingesting into that oil pickup. Next question, do you think Subaru 
or Toyota have resolved this problem for the 2023 cars? My guess is no, that the, the cars for 2023, they've been in production already, as far as I know anyways, correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, I can't imagine the design has already changed based on you know this anecdotal data that we're seeing out on the internet. Do keep in mind though that the oil pickup for the 2022 generation is actually improved from the prior generation cars. So on the previous cars, and I'll throw an image up on the screen here, the oil pickup tube was just a flat screen of mesh at the top of the pickup tube. So when RTV got into that, and there were instances of RTV getting clogged up in the previous generation pickup tubes as well, when the RTV was stuck in there, the oil had nowhere else to go. It, you know, if that got fully covered, you're significantly reducing the ability of the oil pump to grab oil from the pickup and bring it into the engine. Now on the new pickup design, you can see from the photos, it's now a tube with the filter screens kind of inside the tube. And if you look closely inside, the tube itself, instead of having just one flat screen where the RTV gets captured, you actually have a little box. It's like a rectangle box with one opening at the bottom. The oil can flow in around all of those areas on the side of the box as well as the top of the box. But what we've been seeing is the RTV getting jammed up or clogged up in the very top of the box, but not on the sides of it. So what that's telling me is that the oil is still able to get into the oil pump even though that top section of the pickup is getting clogged you still have those four different screens around the sides so it's kind of hard to visualize uh, but really the oil is going in those side screens and around the mesh screen on the top where the rtv is jammed into so it seems that they put in a reasonable fix to the old problem and even with rtv getting stuck in that topmost screen the oil should at least by the looks of it still be able to get into the oil pickup in the big picture to me this is a very small issue um, trying to think of a better word for it but not a big deal i really i mean yeah it got blown up by the internet um, everybody's you know worried and concerned that their car is going to blow up but i mean in my opinion honestly i think this is nothing really to worry about unless you're at that really really high risk category of regular track driving regular autocross regular drifting and and those types of things so and you know the good thing is toyota came out with a statement after the whole warranty debacle that happened when they said that they were going to honor the warranty claim you know they made a statement saying that and i'm paraphrasing here toyota encourages this type of driving you know they want to support their customers in that and will you know honor any warranty claims with with this type of driving in mind once again though everybody has their own level of risk tolerance and and how they want to approach these things that's kind of you know just how i would approach it personally if if i was in that situation and i am actually in that situation all right so q a is over hopefully this video was helpful i hope it helped those of you that are looking at buying the car or have just bought a car uh, hopefully this video eases your mind a little bit and and you can enjoy the car without the anxiety i would say if you do have a car you know keep your finger on the pulse keep up to speed with what is going on and how this particular situation develops as i mentioned we're very much in the anecdotal evidence stages of this whole oil pickup and rtv silicone debacle so we'll see how things go over the next uh, weeks and months and you know hopefully we'll hear something from the manufacturers as well like always if you have any comments questions extra thoughts please leave them down below i would love to hear from you and stick around we got more videos coming up very soon stay safe out there i am checking out and we'll talk to you all next time